G'day everyone, Viv here, hope you're all keeping well, welcome back. Um, finally got brought a tripod home from the studio, so now I can set the camera up properly in some proper angles and not have to do this weird sort of stuff. So, I haven't had a video up for a couple of days now, but uh, there has been a few things going on here. As per the last update, which I think was about the Denisovans, about the Romans waiting on some shield decals to come. Um, so I've started working on these Denisovan figures from Eureka Miniatures and making some fairly good progress through them. Um, I will we'll have a quick look in just a second. Um, actually, we'll, let's have a look now. Why, why look at me talk when we can look at miniatures? So here we go. I've managed to uh, get through sort of 10 or 11, 12 or so figures. And obviously, as you can see in front of you, these are some of the, the figures that I've finished and they're ready for uh, a quick shade. I have done a little bit more work on these guys than I was originally anticipating. For example, the loincloths, they have uh, three colours on them, um, just to help them pop a little bit when um, when the quick shade go goes on. You can kind of see how I've highlighted some of the, the, the folds and the wrinkles and whatnot. Um, so these guys are, have been great fun to paint. These are the Denisovan figures from Eureka Miniatures. Uh, I found them... I mean, uh, there's obviously not a lot to these guys. They're, they're basically bodies um, with some weapons and um, some loincloths. Now, the skin I've done using the dark flesh game color. This was a bitch to thin down to put through the airbrush. So I primed everything black. I did a dark flesh tone <clears throat> Excuse me, with the airbrush. I followed that by um, this earth color, again from game color. Um, these are not very airbrush friendly sort of paints or maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, so this was the base colour, then that earth colour was pretty much sprayed very sparingly on the 45 degree angles on all four corners so to speak. So we have the miniature here and then an airbrush and then I'll just move this stuff out of the way, stick it in the thing back there, hold it at a 45 and hit it with an airbrush. Turn it, hit it with the airbrush, turn it, hit it with the airbrush, turn it, hit it with the airbrush at a 45 degree angle. And then I did the same thing with this, uh, was it heavy brown? Yeah, heavy brown, um, except just a little bit lighter. And we ended up with something that kind of looks like this. So you can see from the bottom, he's quite dark. But as we get around to the top, I wonder if we can get... I should set up a little light box. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but in person you can you can certainly see it. I should turn off bloody autofocus, shouldn't I? Um, you can see it in person. It's much harder to see on the camera. But they'll quick, quick shade up quite nicely. Um, so there's another 20-odd um, figures to go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 figures. 17, 18 figures to go. Um, I'm pretty happy so far. They've uh, they've come up really well. They're, they're, they're fun figures to paint. The facial expressions on them are very, very nice. And there's some variation. Obviously, you can see where they've used some of the same heads and stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're very, very simple figures uh, for use in a, in a fun game. So these um, Denisovans... Um, obviously look very much like uh, uh, Australian Aboriginal figures, but that's just how I've decided to paint them up because, you know, who knows what the Denisovans actually look like. Um, and they do, uh, funnily enough, look very similar to uh, um, Aboriginal Australians. Or, yeah, I don't know what the politically correct term is. Are they just uh, First Nation people, I think they call them. Um, or they call themselves First Nation people. Uh, yeah, good fun. Good fun. There we go. So I'm really enjoying painting again. It's been a long time uh, since I've really properly sat down and painted just a little bit every night. And for the most part, I have been painting just a little bit every night. Uh, these guys I started yesterday, um, and I and I primed them all. I base coated them with those three different colours, as I mentioned with the airbrush. And then this lot of figures I've started um, like painting with the brush. I've been using the new um, Windsor & Newton brushes. I started off with the Spectre Gold brushes, the, these ones here, the Spectre Gold, the red ones. Uh, they're the hybrid synthetic 
brushes and look they're very very nice brushes to use so I tried those out then I had a crack at the uh, Cotman series brushes the fully synthetic brushes and you know it's funny I kind of think they're a little bit better um, you know it's still too early to tell you know whenever you get a new brush whether it's a cheap brush or an expensive brush or a brand name brush or something from your two dollar store a new brush is always fun to paint with it's easy to paint with that lovely lovely point is amazing so it's too early to tell what those brushes are like the series 7 brushes I'll wait for a little while I just want to hammer through these uh, these um, chip brushes first and just to see how they go because uh, I'll probably keep those sable brushes for a bit more high-end sort of work rather than this base coating and quick, quick shading sort of stuff so I'm pretty happy everything's going well it's nice to be painting as I said and uh, you will get through these figures I think I'll get them finished by the weekend and then I'll do some of the the animals the kangaroos the monkeys and stuff and there we go I can got uh, a couple of uh, uh, painted warbands or forces or armies or I don't know what we call them for tribal don't remember <laughs> And then I can start filming some battle reports. It's a great fun game. You should have a look at it, Tribal. Check out Manapress on the interwebs. Um, I don't know what it is. It's in the description, manapress.com.au, I think it is. And look them up on, uh, on the old Facebooks. It's a fun game. It's a, it's a very simple, fun, enjoyable game. I'll catch you next time. See ya.